morning everyone. Uh, we've been given five cow hides from our local abattoir. Just asked him when he had some. He did five cows the other day, not ours. Uh, and these would have been going into landfill. So we've collected them up. So I just wanted to show you some do's and don'ts of uh, preparing a cow hide. First thing you want to do is cut all this meat and fat off. pressure cleaner I'm using is the uh, karcher. We use a few karchers around the place. I uh, have a karcher vacuum. Um, they work well, they're made well. You can just grab, one, grab them at Bunnings. So these ones average about $99 when they're on sale at Bunnings and yeah, it's been better days but that's because we use it heavily. So it's certainly getting its use around here and he uses it to clean the clay off the uh, tyres. I use it for projects like this. So all you do is turn it on, press the pump, You can see it just really, that fat's a lot looser and more lifted now. Whereas the fat I haven't done, I can't even grab it and pick it up. So this one I can grab and pick up now and it's separated from the skin. Whereas this one it's still, um, still well and solid hard. So that's the benefit of using one of these. If you don't have it, it's just a little bit more work. Alright, so... If you had two people, the great thing would be to have someone high pressuring and then as it lifts, uh, cutting it. I reckon that'd be a lot quicker, but I have no takers that want to be involved in this. So all you're going to do is just grab it. I'm just, oh, I'm just using a kitchen knife and just start cutting it off. So just cut through it. You'll see underneath where the skin is that you're trying to get to. And it's just a matter of slicing away. Point the knife slightly up so it's not going down into the skin. Like I just put a hole in it, but it's right. Did I do that hole? Yeah. So it's right on the edge though. Um, so I'm just trying to show you and keep the camera out of the wind. But that's all you're doing. You're slicing along till you get down to this nice skin. Do as much as you can. If you can't get it all done and you've run out of time, just literally salt it where it's at and when you've got time come back a couple of days later and have another crack at it. This is the most tedious part of it. It's not fun. Um, if you had a better setup, I'm doing it out in the paddock on the grass with animals around me, uh, flies etc. When we get our shed finished we will have a table in there that I can sit at and do this kind of thing. Okay so this large piece of meat we need to get rid of. So all you do is pop the knife under somewhere and I've got my thumb in there holding it and I'm just kind of pulling back on the meat, check underneath to see I'm getting to the skin but not going too deep. knife might be a bit easier I don't really trust myself for a sharp knife this is a bit of low fat meat so it is a bit there's no fat between the meat and the skin like there has been in other parts so it's a bit tougher but you can see you just work your way in there pull and cut along or if you're worried about how I know if I've cut enough off um, I hope you can see in this video so you will know but I promise you when you've got your hide you'll definitely see 
um, you you'll see what the good stuff is, and you'll know what the good stuff is, and you'll know if you're getting a little bit bit thin, you'll start to see just the popping through of the hair, end of the hair follicles where they go in. Biggest thing is not to angle your knife down towards the skin, but to have it slightly angled up. And then if you're lifting this off, you can really feel the, the pressure of it underneath. So if you're not like really, I mean, there's not a lot of blood. There's a bit of meat and fat, but there's not a lot of blood. But if you're really not, um, it is a messy job, but uh, it's not something you'll choose to do every day. But there is a satisfaction knowing that now the majority of this animal has been used. Uh, if it had been my cow, I would have asked him, uh, the abattoir, to collect the brains and give me the brains, and then you can just treat, you can treat your hide with those brains, stick them in the freezer for the seven days, and then get them out and defrost them, and that's what you'd rub into your hide. That's a whole other piece of work for him to have to cut the cow head in half and get the brains out, um, and I didn't want to ask that of him, so I'm just grateful that he's given me the hide and it's not my cow. If it's my cow, absolutely, I'd say, yeah, I definitely want the head or I definitely want the brains. Um, we've used our pig heads before and been given them, uh, had them whole and Andy's just used the um, sawzall um, to cut through a reticulating saw, just one of those Ryobi reticulating saws and that's got through it, not easily, but it's got through it. But if you were to uh, plan on using your, they, they pretty much say every animal contains what it needs to do its hide. So every animal should have the size of a uh, brain that should do its hide. I, I would recommend having a little bit more. So if you can get, if you're doing brain then to do um, a little bit more. So I doubt I'll be able to get a cow's brain, but I'll probably be able to get some sheep brains. Um, yeah, so that's, that's if I'm getting, it all depends on COVID and my access to uh, my butcher on what I'm going to be able to get to do these. So it's a bit of a wait and see, but there's something I can get. I just want to give you a quick show, uh, a bit of an update of where I'm at. So... You can see where I've done, this was chunky meat. So I'm focusing on the hide, on the meat first, because if I don't get to all the fat because of time, that's not so bad to salt. That's not gonna be so hard to get rid of at the end and it's not gonna be so, not gonna affect getting into the hide when I um, do the next steps, but the meat will. So you can see what we're looking for, just that clean, uh, off you can see it's quite loose and gooey um, even if you just if you can't get to it if you just score that right just scoring it putting little cuts in it that'll help the salt get in but also I'll go over this again with a pressure cooker a uh, pressure cooker a <laughs> uh, pressure hose and that'll help just lift all that off all right, so that's all I've got time for with um, getting this hide ready today. So, uh, as you can see, there's still some work to be done on it. I'm now just going to give it a good old clean. I'm going to flip it over and give it a hose down, get the um, any manure, urine, dirt off it. It doesn't need to be scrubbed at this point because one of the steps in the hide process is to give it a good wash, uh, which I'll show you in the next... Um, I think that'll be the next video actually that I give it a wash then so in the next video you'll see me wash it but for now all I need to do is get this guy salted and cleaned up a little bit more just with water for now and that gives me time I, I can pull it out anytime and cut more off in the next seven days if I want to do that if not it'll sit in here for salt for a couple of days and then I'll have a play with it again.
Now I'm just going to lay it back out and salt it up. You want to keep it damp, it's a lot easier to work with. Um, if, if it dries out, you just have to rehydrate it. But this amount of water will be a good thing. So if you're doing this in a garden, this is the spot when you would move it. This thing. A finer salt's probably better. But again, COVID-19, this is all I could get my hands on. It's just a bit coarser. As long as you get a good covering, it's fine. Oh yeah, my cuts in my hand are loving the salt. Probably be enough salt, but I've got it, so I'm going to use it. Whew, I'm ready for a cup of tea. And now, just to ensure every bit has salt on it, I'm just going to rub it in. So I've brought it into the shed and I've uh, got it all wrapped up in a nice sheet and a blanket of salt. It will stay in here for minimum a week until I do the next step. It could stay in here almost up to six months, I've heard of longer. So you don't need to panic now, you've got it where it needs to be and ready to do the next step. Check out my part two video on tanning that I'll put together in seven days time from today because a minimum seven days. 
And that's it. That's the first step of doing your high. $8 bag of salt, $10 high. That's it. Ready to go. I hope a little bit of today resonates with you and that you give it a crack and have a go at tanning your own hide. Thanks everyone.